Moya will never see TJ the same again. See, a woman don't just see her man as a man, but as the man. And like I said in a previous video, every woman sees their man as Superman. And if you have a man and you don't see my Superman, you need a new man. And I don't think they realize that what happened may have unintentionally ended their relationship. See, because Jamaicans will always mouth TJ. TJ will not live this down. Everywhere he goes, somebody will remind him of what happened. They, so we stay. Some, somebody are going to mouth him. And if she's in his company when that's happening... It's, it's going to affect her. It's, it's difficult to have a man that other men don't respect. It's, it's difficult. It's difficult to respect a man that other men don't respect. PJ, you have a lot of work to do if you still want to be with Moya. Because I'm telling you, she will not look at you the same after this. The scars will heal, but she will not look at you the same. Even though she knows you were outnumbered, even though there was nothing you could do, it doesn't matter. She still experienced you being emasculated in, sen in front of the entire world, essentially. And she experienced you not being able to protect her in a moment when she was scared, in a moment when she was vulnerable, in a moment when she needed you, she will not look at you the same again. And if you still want to be with her, you have a lot of work to do. Don't just take this as just another hiccup in your relationship or something happened and you can just move on from it. No, you will actively have to Put things in place to show her that <clears throat> you're still her man. You can still protect her. You're still the man. You have to find a way to put your cape back on, sir. You must have to find a way to be Superman in her eyes again. Because, yeah, it, the, you were you were emasculated. You were emasculated, and she she witnessed it, and so did the world. It's gonna be difficult. But TJ, don't mull over this. Don't think that it's, you know, I'm a ride or die chick and she did put up for me. And yeah, yeah, no. You, you want to keep that girl? You have a lot of work to do, sir. Don't just take it as another hiccup in your relationship. This is not a hiccup. This is a whole vomit, sir. This is a whole vomit. This is not a hiccup. Don't treat it like a hiccup. She may not realize it now. You may not realize it now. But she will never look at you the same again. Men, when you're out with your woman, try your utmost best not to get in a fight. Because if you get beat up, and there is a 50% chance that you will, your girl will never look at you the same again. I spoke about this in a recent video I have, and this is what I said. Especially. But let me just say personally, if you can diffuse a situation and not allow it to escalate, and I'm not talking if between, between me and the person, if, if I'm with somebody and we're out and something happened, let's say they get in an altercation with another man, like just some, some, some tiff happened with um, you and another man. If you fight that man, I'm probably going to leave. It depends on if, if you're defending yourself, okay, fine. But if there was an altercation and you get big and there was this big brawl and there was a fight, I'm going to be turned off. But if, if you finesse the situation in a way that you de-escalate and you calm, you, you, you just you de-escalate the situation and it's gone, to the point where you can turn around and buy the guy a drink, to me, that's more impressive than if you cry to die. And I didn't just say that because I don't like violence and I don't like fighting. And I think there are other ways that we could, I mean, hash out our differences. I think it's hot when a man can de-escalate a situation without violence to the point where he buys you a drink. I think that's hot. But another reason is 
I don't want to see you fight. I don't want to see you get beat up because I know I will not look at you the same again. Men, it's not a it's not a flex to fight in front of your girl. Don't do it because there is a 50% chance that you will get beat up. And if she witnesses that, you're in trouble. If you're single, we go live every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time. So if you're single, come find love. And if you're taken, come support the daters. It's a Caribbean dating thing right over here. So every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time. Join us. Come find love. I dare you to find love. I'll see you on Sunday. Toodles.